blue sky, a bit of sun. I better get a cup of tea and come out here. Right, how long is it going to be before it turns to rain? Even if I just put these plants in, I'll be pleased. So I'm going to plant these that I've collected over the weeks and also this new raspberry that arrived in the post the other day thank you very much for this and this is a new one that's on the market apparently that will fruit both in the autumn and in the summer so you don't have to have six raspberry canes now you could just have three and have a nice crop throughout the year and the daffodils here even though I planted them so late, they're coming into flower. Daffodils about to burst. The hyacinths down there have been given off a fantastic scent. And also, the tulips look as if they're about to burst as well. So, it'll be a pleasure to see them. I have a nice crop of dandelions, and I'm actually going to keep them because Recently I've discovered you can make dandelion tea, which apparently, allegedly, is very good for non-alcoholic fatty liver. So do your own research before you do anything that I'm going to show you. So I've, I'm going to keep them. I'll be making my own in a few weeks time. I haven't bought it yet, but I'm thinking about putting a climbing rose in the corner here. I saw the cats in here today, so just in case they've put torpedoed, I'll use the trowel. So I'm putting some alliums in the back. Nice tall purple flowers. And this pot was £2.75. I thought if I put them here, then at least if they slightly fall over in the wind, they can fall over towards towards the wall. Right, what else can I plant? In fact, I think, with the exception of the raspberries, because I'll put them somewhere else, I think I might just put all these flowers here. So this is an anemone. This would look good. Falling over the side here. So now that I have the allotment, this garden is going to be more about flowers. And I don't really do herbs except for mint. Ah, so I could do a pot of mint here as well. But it is nice to see the sun, and not only see the sun, but feel the sun. Right, so if I'm going to put a rose there, should I put this in a different place? Oh, I've just noticed there's a plant there. That that looks like a red currant or something. Right, let me move a few stones here. This is where I usually come and sit. All right, there's another stone there, which is a lot bigger. So let me pop, pop that back and maybe put this amongst the... Yeah, I'll put it there. Amongst the dandelions. I have noticed since I've been drinking dandelion tea, the pain in my chest has gone away. Could be a placebo, but it works for me and that's all that matters, isn't it? Oh, it looks like there's a, there's a rock here or something. Let me just tease the roots out, because if you have a plant where it's a bit it gets a bit pot-bound. Look at that sunshine. That looks quite good against the, the yellow of the dandelion there. Oh. 
bit prickly on the old hands. There you go, that'll look beautiful. Now you, you might ask, what sort of design is he going for? And I'd say cottage garden, just buy a pot and bang it in. Don't overthink these things. My cousin had a beautiful garden and she didn't plan it. Now this is called saxifrage and it is a very good slow grower. We'll give it a year and it'll be covered all over this section here with these beautiful red flowers. It'll also fall over the edge just slightly as well. Keep the label. It's very good to uh, pass on to friends because all you need to do is just rip out a piece, pass it on and then you can share in the glory with your friends. And then this one, well, the, there's no scent to it, that's strange. It's carnation, uh, more of a pink, they call them. So where I put the, rose goes there. I'll put that one up here. Give it a bit of shelter. There we go. And then this is a bit of thrift, which can go in this little corner here. Because if I think back, the first garden that I ever had, I didn't plan it. I just bought the plants I liked and threw them in. And if after a few years I discovered that this, this one gets too big and should be at the back, I just moved it. It's not that complicated a thing to do. It's very easy in this life to overthink things. And then I think in the back here, a true cottage garden, this will be. Cottage gardens were always a tradition of flowers and veg or flowers and food. So if we put this raspberry in, it should do quite well here. But I say it won't get any fruit this year. The plant is far too small. There you go, tease the roots. <laughs> and then pop it in, cover it over. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and your garden's done. Thought I'd give you a bit of a little tour. There seems to be some wild strawberries down there. Snow on the mountain. And then up here, as I predicted, a geranium, a nice wild geranium. It smells beautiful. But in this corner, I'm thinking about putting a small tree. Haven't decided what yet. Maybe an apple tree, in fact. May as well get some fruit from it. Oh, look, the birds are using that, I can see. Yeah, so I will be using these dandelions. Also, some flowers down here. And also the flowers on top, the snow on the mountain. Now it's all starting to come back into into flower. That look really nice. I feel like I need a bit of obrisha. So I'm going to get some of that to fall over the side here and go all the way down. And this part here, I was thinking about just getting a few bits of grass seed, to, to be honest with you, and just making a very rough lawn. Something for the cats to just come and up, up here and sit and play on. And also on the steps here, we can take that bit out, that is an unwanted weed. But I like these ferns, so they can stay. And a bit like every wall in Wales, you will find one bit that is always damp. 
that's fine. That's the way the life is here. But it'll be nice when all these flowers have come out. Look at that hyacinth there. I'm going to leave the daffodils down the bottom here because it is quite nice to see them while I'm in the kitchen. And I'm looking into the cost. Oh, that's that's the fence down there to go down to the plot. And my cold frame frames. I'm looking into the cost at the moment of hiring out a jet wash so I can give all this a good scrub. But if you're going to play around with water, then you need a warm day. So, not just yet. See, it looks quite nice from down here. Just about to see, see them through the top there. Beautiful. And I can see them then from the bedroom window. But just think, instinct now would have me pull all these out. But all you've got to do is go and do a bit of research. And that's medicine there. Sometimes we can't see the wood for the trees. We're running around the world so fast. We can't see what's right in front of us. But it's nice to see the blue sky. At last, I just saw a, se a seagull. He's, he's off course. The sea is a long way away from here. Just walk up the steps and have a look at that rose again. Look at it. And that's a find. This is why when you take on a garden, I think it's best don't throw things, you know. I could come out and dig up the whole thing, but just leave it and see what's here. Because even up here, I like all these ferns that are in the bricks here. They will look good. And even the ivy. I see there's a bit of beauty in the ivy there. But these are the steps that I usually come out of in the morning. When I have a cup of tea and we just walk backwards. When I come out to have a cup of tea in the morning, that's where I sit where I'm in full sunshine. Also, I'm going to dig out my seeds and find some nice scented stock and just throw that all over the garden because I absolutely love the smell of night scented stock. Now, when I first arrived, the plan was to put a greenhouse there and that may still be the plan, but now that we're going into warmer weather, there's no big rush now to get it done. And I'm thinking to myself, rather than spending the money on building something, I'd rather spend the money on the allotment and get that as perfect as I can get it. Oh, it's nice to come inside and feel the the warmth. I was going to do my washing today, but to be honest, by the time I realised that the sun was out, I thought by the time the washing will be finished, it will be raining. But apparently Thursday, it's going to be sunny. So I might get up early and do my washing because... It is a noisy kettle because I had, I saw something on TikTok. I don't know how you would say this word. A la ver, a la ver, A-L-L-A-V-A-R-E, a la ver. And it is, I'll show you now. It is apparently, uh, Pure laundry powder, good old fashioned laundry powder, fragrance free and made with just 100% coconut oil soap. So I've got some of that, I've got some natural 
oxygen natural oxygen bleach so I don't know what I don't know how to use that and also what's this one Betty's st stain bar isn't it funny when you buy things like this I don't think I've got anything that's got a stain now and I'll pro I will probably lose it by the time I do have a stain so right the kitchen needs a bit of a clean I've got dishes from this morning but I'm gonna have to wash my hands first so yes I'm thinking about moving this and maybe next month with a bit of birthday money put in a a worktop fridge you know something about not too big but that's all and I've looked online and they keep on uh, pushing me towards wine storage which is not what I want although I wouldn't mind seeing inside so without opening the door I'd, I'd be able to go okay I've got some carrots I need to get some more milk but I need to measure so I need to find my tape measure and work out the the, the size of that right I'm gonna get my seeds out now and sort them out after I've had a cup of tea look at this the sun is out so it's time to go back into the garden. Amber is already out there, loving life. I recently went down to Chiroki to go and check out a few gyms to see if there's anything I could sign up to. And I found a Lidl, or was it, a, or was it an Aldi? I keep getting them confused. But what I was surprised by was they had flowers in London. I've never seen flowers at an Aldi or a Lidl before. So I bought some. So let's pop them in and enjoy the sunshine because I think it's probably only around for a day. You gonna help me? You gonna help me do a bit of gardening? Nice to see the spring bulbs are coming out. The tulip there. And look at this beautiful daffodil. And the smell is gorgeous. First thing I've got is a pot of freesias. And a beautiful smell they are too. It's best to buy freesias in the green such as this because I haven't had much success with planting the bulbs in the autumn. I find it's a lot better just to buy them as a pot plant and throw them in. And I'll even keep the the stick there to keep them upright. Right, where am I going to put this climber? So this is the picture, never seen this one before. Akibia. But it's a nice specimen and I think that will do really well going up against the wall here. Bits of plastic there. Right, let me get them out. Looks like plastic sheeting. Things people throw away. Bit of that went in my mouth then. Ugh. There's a lot of. Oh, it could be um, l lino, is it? That old thing that we used to have. There we go. Anyway, pop this in. And also, this one I will undo because it needs a bit of space to breathe. I like to buy things that aren't in flower because if you buy them when they're in flower, then when you plant them, the flowers will quickly fade away and then you're left with nothing. 
ideally buy something that's full of buds. Right, and now we'll take all the ties off. There we go. We'll leave the stick in, give it some stability, but I'll just leave it there now. It can find its own way up the wall. That blue looks very nice against the sunshine there. Certainly brightens up this corner. I also bought a tray of these outdoor fuchsias and in the childhood garden we used to have fuchsias there. So I thought I would just randomly put these all over the place. I might have too many so I may take a few to the allotment or give them to the neighbours. The neat downside with buying plants from places such as this, they don't give you any information about the plant. They just tell you what the name of the thing is. So I would like to know like the height of it and the spread, but anyway. I can't remember the price now, but they were, they seemed quite cheap at the time. So this is what I think I will do. I might pop down every few weeks and just see what's there. And the garden can be created by whatever I see. Well, I enjoyed that. Like I said, if every few weeks I pop down and see what's there, especially if I decide to go to the gym that's close to... Lidl or Aldi or whatever one it is. I think it's Lidl. Then I could pick a bit up every time I visit and the garden will be filled in no time. Right, I was going to go to the allotment today because it's such a nice day, but I'm waiting in for, guess what, another parcel. Although, I'm impressed. I ordered some items from Gymshark last night and they're turning up this morning. That's service for you. Right, I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea. I'll catch up with you next time. So for me until then, Bye for now.